Thanks for stopping by our exercise.com channel. Today I'm discussing how to write a good personal trainer bio. Part of building your personal training business is building your brand and telling potential clients about yourself. They want to learn about you before they take the time and spend the money for you to train them. And that's what your personal trainer biography is for. Because of our many years of working with professional trainers here at exercise.com, plus all the personal trainers we have on our staff, we can help you craft a bio that has just the right amount of quality information. But before I get into that, I have a question for all you personal trainers out there. Whether you're brand new or you've been around for a while, you seasoned veterans, what is or was the most difficult part about writing your biography? Love to hear from you, so just drop a comment below. So, how to write a good personal trainer biography? I mean, you may wonder why it's even important to write one in the first place. What's the big deal, right? I just want to get out there and train some people. Well, it may sound uncomfortable to certain personalities, but building your business involves advertising yourself. So, you kind of have to sell yourself in a way, not just your training services. People want to know who you are, what makes you qualified to help them get fit and healthy. And you have to keep in mind that your bio isn't only going to go on one thing. It's going to go on um, different types of advertising avenues. So websites, blogs, social media pages, and maybe some print advertising, such as business cards. So when you craft a bio, just worry about crafting um, a draft, maybe a template for yourself, and then you can make tweaks on it whenever you spread across different types of media. So it might look different for your business cards than it would on, let's say, your business Facebook page, for example. So the overarching theme today is good bios have a personal touch. You don't want to make them boring or just like you're regurgitating someone else's biography. It's got to have personalization. And a solid bio starts with stating the obvious in the opening sentence. You have to state who you are, so your name, and what you do, which in this case is, well, you're a personal trainer. Another thing is write in the third person sometimes. So writing in the third person, um, such as if I were to, to state my biography, I would say Lauren Smith is a personal trainer. I wouldn't say I am a personal trainer. So writing in third person sounds more professional, especially for things like business cards or your business Facebook page. But if you manage your own website that may include a blog, for example, you may want to have your bio be in first person, so stating in, in um, I's and me's, especially for style is to be more personable and conversational. So the big thing to note here is, yeah, you can show your personality, your individuality. You just have to find that balance between professionalism and showing your personality. So do what fits your style. Remember, it might look different on your website slash blog versus um, I don't know, a flyer you put out somewhere. So The next point is keep it short and sweet. Up to three paragraphs. But make it at least one solid paragraph. Don't include just a few measly words. You don't want to cheat here, people. No unnecessary or irrelevant information is allowed in your biography. Include stuff that's interesting. You want to engage the reader, so your potential clients, with what drew you into the personal training industry in the first place. They want to know your story, not someone else's. So don't just copy and paste your friend's bio or an example you found in a Google search and change, you know, just a couple words. If you're not sure how much or how little to include, ask a colleague to review your draft always helps have fresh eyes. 
stay on topic. Don't meander. No rabbit trails, people. You don't want to lose your people before you even have them. Now, as with everything, review and revise your draft. So speaking of fresh eyes, share your draft with your grammar guru friend. Everyone has one. I actually think I'm that friend. <laughs> to make sure it's pristine. So I want to make sure you don't have any stray commas and that your eyes are dotted and your T's are crossed. That's all the points there. The final piece here is visit exercise.com for business where you can request a demo of our online personal training platform to see how you can take your business to the next level. So once you get your bio going and out there in the world and your business off the ground, check us out or even request a demo today to think ahead and start thinking toward online training. Our advanced software helps you minimize all that cumbersome, disorganized paperwork that can drive you crazy. It's also fully customizable to your brand and will help you increase revenue. Everyone wants to increase revenue. Keep that money flowing in. So our exercise.com team is here to help every step of the way. Just request a demo. You can do it here at the bottom or up at the top. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. And as a reminder, comment below with any difficulties you've had while crafting a personal trainer bio and click like on this YouTube video. Thanks for stopping by today.